This video is sponsored by the Pokemon TCG deck building website PokemonCard.io. Are you looking for sealed product and singles? You can find it all on Channel Fireball. Please use my Teomon affiliate code when checking out to help support my content. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. If you're from Europe, Millipods Gaming has a wide array of sealed products, singles and more. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. Card Market is Europe's largest online marketplace for Pokemon cards. Whether you're looking for sealed product or singles, vintage or the latest sets, just follow the link in the description to find what you need. Want to show off your love for Tailmon? Check out my 2021 merch. These new hoodies and shirts are available on Amazon. Click on the link in the description to get yours. Hello everyone and welcome back to our bonus video of the day where we're going to be taking a look at the expanded format with this dark box deck that has been doing pretty well in expanded. We featured Turbo Dark previously. This is more of a dark box deck as it features the ability shadow connection to move energy around and be able to use a wide variety of attacks and that means we get to use um, Mewtwo and Mew GX's perfection ability to copy attacks from GX and EX Pokemon only GX's that we are playing right now but we can start off with item locking through Neuvern's distort attack by um, doing that for a single energy thanks to the Dimension Valley and then we can follow that up with Blacklands and or Dark Moon GX we can also follow that up with Greedy Crush or Giga Fall and keep in mind that all these attacks cause one colorless energy less thanks to Dimension Valley. We can also use Dark Pulse for a single Dark Energy which is pretty good um, as we will get a ton of energy into play hopefully thanks to Golden Moltres' ability and our Dark Patches. <clears throat> Interesting to note, no Max Elixirs in this build of the deck but I think that's okay. Um, and then we have Tapu Lele, Dedene and Crobat for Dedene and Crobat for support. I said I said them uh, the other way around. We have compressors to get the dark energies into the discard pile. Um, surprised there's no dark right GX here, but I guess well, actually, I don't know. I feel like one copy of dark right GX and maybe some hypnotoxic lasers could have been worth it, just to have access to that um, to the dead end GX attack as well. Um, but I guess, um, like I haven't tested this deck myself, so um, I'm sure the creator of it had different things in mind for it. So you can see the other decks that we're going to be featuring soon are the Expanded Intillion deck and the Expanded Reshizard build. Um, all of these decks I find at the Limitless website, really good resource if you're looking to see like variety, what ideas people have. It's a really great resource to build and create some cool looking decks such as the one we are about to use. Um, we've been good so far in terms of uh, dodging the turn one dunk wins. So we'll see if we can continue with that. I will go ahead and choose to go second. That is correct in expanded, I would say. <laughs> Uh, okay, so have a pretty awful starting hand. And we're up against Shadow Rider with Guard of War. So on paper, this should be a good matchup because I do have plenty of Dark type Pokemon, even though I'm about to give up three prize cards, um, it should be okay. But with this hand, I'm not beating even a theme deck, you know? All right. Mm, that actually. That actually changes things to the point where I'm going to discard the three dark energies. And I go like this. Go like this, go like this, <laughs> use my ability, and okay, so I cannot, if I kill the Ralts, there's no way my opponent can knock me out next turn, right? And I, like, I get three prizes out of this, uh, knocking out any of these, so yeah, I'll take it. I'm only taking one prize card, obviously not as ideal, 
but <laughs> so we went from um, having a dead hand to just outright winning on turn one or getting a concession on turn one. Pretty cool to see. Not gonna lie, pretty pretty cool to see that happening. <clears throat> What can I say, right? Lucky top deck. Unlucky starting hand, very lucky top deck. That Marnie coin is looking um, very creepy, honestly. It looked to me very creepy. Okay, now we have a hand, now we get to play. The opponent did choose to go second. So with this hand, um, okay, so I'm gonna start off with the trainer's mails actually because then that will help me decide, yeah, such as I discard a supporter to make sure I can use the DS Seeker next turn. Um, the dark patch is useful right here. So what I'm gonna discard with the compressor is, uh, there's no Neuvern unfortunately. Oh, no Neuvern. I'm gonna discard these two. My opponent is a playing a Dark Week deck, which I reckon they're not. Um, I can just use this and Moltres. And I guess another Dark Energy works. So I can use Ability and the Dark Patch. And then I'm gonna go ahead and establish the Mewtwo. Get the attachment onto it. Then utilize Crobat Draw 4. Uh, I forgot to discard the supporter. <laughs> Oops. That is not good. I definitely absolutely forgot to discard the supporter. Um, okay, I played that horribly. No, no excuses. I absolutely played that horribly. I forgot I needed to discard a supporter to guarantee that I would not be dead drawing right next turn. And the chance of getting Marnie are, uh, or End are so much lower in Standard. I mean in Expanded than in Standard because players usually only play one copy. Uh, yeah. This is not good. I can only use Dark Moon GX. <laughs> uh, pretty bad. Pretty bad, not gonna lie. Pretty bad on my part. I mean, obviously my opponent's dead drawing, but I cost my own dead draw. I should have won the game this upcoming turn. Like this past turn, I should have just been able to research and get going, um, but that's my bad. <laughs> my opponent's still dead drawing somehow. Um, okay, that actually helps. So now I get to... Oh, I didn't even discard the Darkrai dude. Okay, well. Mm, another mistake on my part. I should have retreated into the Moltres, used my ability, so... I am not thinking, you know, like that. There's no, just no excuse right here. I am absolutely not thinking at all right here. You can assume that was my opponent's top deck. You can assume I'm still sort of... Oh, they have the Thunder Mountain, actually. Oh my gosh, well, instead of winning this game, I'm about to lose because of my, no excuses, right? Just my own bad decisions. My own bad decisions. Nothing more, nothing less. My own bad decisions are going to cost me this game. My own terrible, terrible decisions. Okay, my opponent choosing not to attack me and I am able to draw. Oh, I, if I played the stadium down, oh my gosh. Dude, I could have played the stadium. Okay, this, this game is actually embarrassing for me. <laughs> I am literally doing the worst possible moves right now. So we'll give my opponent a brand new hand. Yeah, I, I did the worst possible moves this past game. Um, uh, okay, so 
I'm thinking, do I need more energy in play? Not this turn. Hmm. So hear me out. No, this is fine. I'm definitely, like, that was so badly played on my part. I have no excuses. Absolutely no excuses. That was horribly, horribly played on my part. Horribly, horribly played on my part. <laughs> Let's pretend that I'm doing this on purpose so that we could actually get to play and see what our opponent's deck does. <laughs> That's obviously, obviously not the case, right? But let's pretend that that's what I was going for. <laughs> no, generally, like, there's no excuse. I played this absolutely horribly the first two turns. I should have won on turn two. I should have won on game three, on turn three. And now the game continues because of my bad decision making. You yeah, know, there's, there's no other, there's no nice way to, um, to explain this. It's just my bad decision making. My opponent also making questionable choices here. Um, I can greedy crush to take the knockout, I believe. If I go computer search, um, actually I can't. Okay, let me let me focus here. I'll do this. Okay, my opponent can't play trainers. If I go Dark Moon, if I go Dark Moon this game, or this turn rather. Go Dark Moon this turn. My opponent can't play any trainers, my Mewtwo would be safe, and then next turn I would just eliminate the dude, right? So I think that's the way to go about it. Even though it seems weird to use Dark Moon on a 30 HP left Pokemon. I think that should guarantee the win. Dark Moon, my opponent can't play trainers, that means he can't um, he can't play any supporter, he can't bench down any other Pokemon. He can't search for them at least. If he has it, he has to manually bench it. He can't play Electro Powers either. And I can just save all the energies and attack with um, Dark Bolts on a single energy Mewtwo and conserve everything else that way. So I think this is the way to go. Oh my god. Wait, does this? Yeah, it kills it 50 times. It kills me because I played the Dark Patch. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow, super, super punished right there. My opponent just had the raw Tapu Koko in hand. <laughs> okay, sure, that works. <laughs> that absolutely works. That most certainly works. <laughs> Um, okay, so I do have Knockout with Aura Burn. That was... this was a game. This is the perfect showcase of what, like, not to do, right? Like, he <laughs> definitely <laughs> did not make the best decisions in this game, for sure. 150, yeah, I can't knock out my opponent next turn. I can, however... Assuming he knocks me out, end him to one and item lock, and then finish him off. I think that would be the plan. Um, there is a universe where he plays 
four Electro Powers and Ghost Guzma KO'd the Mewtwo to beat me. There is a universe where that happens. Um, my opponent doesn't take away my hand though, I go Guzma. Like he'll promote the Wolf I go Guzma, chase down the Picaram, transfer all my energies, use Greedy Crush to attack for game. So I think we're fine. But yeah, <laughs> this was the best showcase of what not to do. You know, the best, the absolute best showcase of what not to do. My opponent just passes, okay. So if I retreat. I have to pay two energy, so I actually won't be able to um, to win this turn. But I will item lock my opponent. So now the best he can do is go Guzma, then I go Guzma back, and then finally, finally <laughs> win this game. Finally, finally win this game. There we go. Uh, dark poles, I'm not even gonna do the math, so I'm just gonna attack, I know it's enough. <clears throat> yeah, 180, I didn't need the extra energy. I just, like, I knew if I attached the energy, I knew it was enough. All right. So that was very, 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 very poorly played. I cannot emphasize how poorly played that was on my part. Like, generally, probably one of the worst games I've ever played in six years of uh, making videos, absolutely. Important thing is to recognize it, right? And improve upon the next, um, the next, the next game, right? Improve upon the next game. Alrighty. We are looking for an opponent one last game to showcase this deck, hopefully much better than the previous game. First game with the compressor top deck was absolutely crazy. The second game was also crazy in a different way, right? In a, wow, Paolo, <laughs> you're making so many mistakes way. <clears throat> but we managed to pull through in the end, I guess. No excuses though, you, you play like that, you're absolutely going to get punished by, um, by, by better players. Okay, so my opponent did choose to go first, so I'm benching these Moltres in case it's a turn one Donk win, Donk deck, which seeing that Viper, I fully believe it is. Um, yeah, there it is, so hands off the keys, <laughs> hands off the keyboard. And we'll wait. It's so silly that my opponent... Well, we'll see. My opponent needs enough six second drops to KO this Nisal and um, enough six second drops to KO this Nisal and to KO the Galarian Moltres as well. KOing the Galarian Moltres because it is weak to grass should be simple enough for my opponent. Knocking out this Nisal though, that's gonna be the tough part I reckon. But we'll see if he manages it. <clears throat> we shall see if he manages it. Yeah, there we go. Prized either Crobat or Shaman. Not Shaman, um, Tetene. Um, free win right there. Let's see. We had we had successfully dodged that uh, stupid deck for a while now. And thankfully we didn't have to watch my opponent play for a long time. All right, we lose a coin flip. They let me go first. That is a good indicator that they are not in fact playing the dog deck. Now we start double the dinning. All right. <clears throat> okay, so this immediately tells me it is the um, a Rowlig deck, right? So I have the Dene, I have this, I have enough cards to where. 
Mm, my other Weavile is prized, that's not good. I have a feeling my opponent will be playing Pass to the Peak, or at least Silent Lab, so I'm not going to be focusing on Mew 2. Too much, at least. I prized one Juniper and one N. It's also not great. <laughs> It is absolutely not great. I do have one rescue stretcher, so I'm gonna discard another dark, even though I'm not super happy about it. So. Oh, jeez. Do I have Crowlat? I do have Crowlat, okay. Either way, there's no way for me to save. And I do have four stadiums, right? Three, one is priced. You know what? I can grab Moltres, honestly. Can I grab Moltres? Can I do this? And then I think I just let it change, right? Sacrificing like two really good cards, but. Oh well. Uh, okay, I do got energy, which is fantastic. I will die from wings. We'll control away these two for you, I guess. Yeah. I might have to use this guy's GX to get the Wii Wall into play. And I'll go ahead and fetch the Juniper, because my opponent could just play a stadium, right? Don't want to retreat, <laughs> that would be bad. Okay, so we did something. Do the attack all immediately. Rolling and good Manhala. I wonder if my opponent's going to item lock or if he's just going to get the Wild Bloom out immediately with no Weavile. But if they do go for that, then I can use Dark Union GX. Plus, possibly, as well. <clears throat> okay, to see Assign Labs, Delphi Hood, and Capture Energy. Um, very likely chance that we do see, yeah, the CDI. I can kill the CDI with. Darkman GX Plus. And... Okay, they decide to item block, which makes sense. <laughs> That's a very, very sad card to draw. Alright, Arburn. So how on earth am I dealing with uh, the CDI? Uh, the reality is I can't. Well, I mean, I am getting three prizes. If I can set up Weavile and transfer energies to Mewtwo and Darkmoon, that's the only way, I reckon. Right? So if I go Darkmoon. This is a... Okay, I mean, it's what you expect, right? Moltres is weak to grass. Dark Tricks and the Seed Eye right here, yep. No energy and no stadium off of that Juniper was really annoying though the stadium i guess not as important there's one stadium there's the dark moon dude and there's juniper so my weavel is still priced great um i need now to get six energies on the umbrian dark cry i definitely don't think i can pull that off i absolutely do not think i can pull that off okay no brass energy for my opponent No grass energy for my opponent. I mean, getting close to the Kuzma is not bad. 
really sucks discarding all of these resources, especially the two VS Seekers. Yeah, now I'm down three VS Seekers. And I still couldn't find <laughs> any energies. Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna give up. There's no chance. Yeah, there's, there's no chance I can close out the game before I run out of resources. So, I don't know. One almost as almost another loss. One game where I top decked and went from uh, pro like in a normal game, Shadow Rider Calrex Max should be another win, I would imagine. And then um, that really poorly played game on my part, where I gave my opponent every opportunity to try and make a comeback, but his draws were just not right there. Um, definitely invite you to give this deck a genuine try. It's definitely much better than I showcased in this video. Um, it has been doing very well at expanded events and um, like it's been a while since I've played expanded clearly it, I have never played with this deck so um, you could tell the how rusty I am for expanded um, in that second game where it felt like every decision I made was the wrong one. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in our next bonus video or in our next standard format deck in the morning. Bye-bye.